dear viewers welcome to fritri channel in today's episode we are going to see how to make ramadan lomba kanji or let's say my mom's special vegetarian edition but before digging in let's go through the list of ingredients and i've also given a separate list uh, for tempering as mentioned in the list let's go deep through the ingredients so it's easier for you to cook so firstly i've taken half a cup of idli rice then um 2 tablespoon of coarsely powdered barley and 2 tablespoons of sago seeds these two ingredients make the kanji really tasty but also thick um some green peas 1 tablespoon of uh, yellow moong dal 1 tablespoon of split chana dal and half a tablespoon of fenugreek seed Then I use this Maggi brand um, coconut milk powder. You can also use a uh, fresh milk coconut milk if you want. And for vegetables, I've used um, half inch of ginger and two cloves of garlic, which is cut into two. And it's very important to have both ginger and garlic into same equal portion. Six green chilies, depending on spice level, and half uh, carrot, one whole medium sized onion, and a handful of mint leaves. some ginger garlic paste and um fresh british double thick cream which we'll use later at the end of the video and now i've just um chopped all the vegetables into small pieces so firstly let's take four ingredients which is rice fenugreek seed channa dal and moong dal put it in this um Large vessel that we are going to make the kanji in, and put about two of this mug, uh, nearly three liters of water, and then we are going to put all these vegetables in, along with some salt. Um, I've cut onion into half, half for tempering and the other half for kanji, and the rest of the ingredients we will see later at the end of the video to make the kanji. So now I'm just going to put um, rice, fenugreek seed, moong dal, and um, chana dal and we are going to rinse it in water it's very important that you rinse at least 3 times to remove any kind of dust that might be accumulated in So now after rinsing I'm going to put in all the vegetables inside and about um 3 liters of water in and 3 4 tablespoon of salt before put it in put it on the stuff So now I'm going to um switch it on and put it in at least high flame and make sure to keep um a lid for the vessel Um I'm not going to cover the lid I'm just going to wait for um the water to boil. So just keep the lid half open. So once it start boiling, you can cover the lid and then put the flame into medium flame. And then wait for it to boil well. And now I'm going to put um barley it might be about 30 40 
nearly 20 to 30 minutes and then I'm going to put barley, um, green peas, sago seeds at this point and I'm also going to keep um, half a cup mug of this water which is about 500 ml to use it later so as you see the rice and vegetables and all of them are getting cooked nearly well so for tempering I'm going to use um, one and a half of um, cooking oil in this ladle and I'm going to put this herbs, one black cardamom, one cinnamon stick, three cloves and two green cardamom. And put in half of the onion and uh, mint leaves as well. And I'm also going to put 3-4 um, tablespoon of ginger garlic paste. And I'm pouring about um, some water, about maybe 1 fourth cup of water. And also adding um, 2 tablespoon of coconut powder. Remember this is for tempering, yeah? And I'm going to add a uh, 4 tablespoon of coconut powder right onto the cooked kanji. And start mixing in well. Make sure uh, while you're tempering for kanji, the flame is on medium heat. And for kanji, I'm going to add um, some double cream, which is about um, two tablespoon. This gives a nice creamy, tasty um, texture for the kanji. And adding double cream is completely optional. So kanji is like nearly ready. So just waiting for um, the tempering, and also add uh, some water in case the kanji is like really thick. So I've, had a, I've added about one fourth cup of water and you can add in some salt if you want. So right now for tempering we are just waiting for the ginger garlic paste and the coconut powder to like sink in at the bottom and the oil to split at the top. Make sure it stays white and you don't over burn it otherwise it's not going to give that white color for the kanji. So I've just added the salt because uh, we've added water. So you see oil is like slightly um, splitting itself. So we're just going to wait like another couple of minutes. So now you see um, the oil and ginger garlic paste and the coconut powder is completely uh, split into two. And just start pouring it on the kanji. And now your kanji is completely ready. And just give it a quick mix and there you have it this yummy creamy textured nombu kanji and you can always serve this kanji with um, coconut sambal or um, nice Indian pickle. You can also add, add uh, chickpeas or uh, samia while boiling your kanji. So it serves about 7 to 8 people. Have a wonderful Ramadan ahead.